This is a product video for the Satin Metallic Series from TechRap. And here are the details. Film type, high performance, hybrid calendar self-adhesive film, thickness 12 mil, liner type, PE coated, adhesive, solvent with air release, finish, satin, it comes in these colors, and roll size, and here are the application uses. The film has a lush satin metallic finish, the liner has a TechRap logo on the back, and the film is directional, so make sure the material lines up and using the logo is the best way. This results in a uniform finish. The adhesive is white and has low initial tack, so it can slide across the surface. To make it stick, simply apply pressure from a squeegee. Now the film adheres to the surface. If bubbles appear, simply press them out and work slow. All the air spreads out. There are two important things to consider with the satin metallic finish. If you heat too much and pull too hard, the satin finish will gloss out. This is not a problem because the material can be picked back up, heat can be added to trigger the memory effect, and the satin metallic finish will come back. No need to replace the panel. The second factor is avoid using a propane torch as this can gloss the film out and this cannot be self-healed. So only use a heat gun, which is safe and consistent. And here are the recommended professional wrap level tools in order to get a successful install using TechRap Satin Metallic Film. Make sure everything is in good condition and especially have brand new buffers on the squeegee. The first step for install is to remove any hardware, then focus on cleaning. The first step is to spray the surface down with a general cleaner, then use a highly absorbent microfiber towel to remove the dirt. Work in overlapping strokes. Next up is to clay bar the surface so it's optimally smooth. This means you'll get a paint-like finish without any specks underneath. Wipe off the residue. Then next up is to degrease the surface. Make sure you work extra thorough during this process and wear gloves for protection. Once the main surface is clean, the next step is to spray it down with a low tack solution, in this case, triple S. Polish it on, then Go back and do a focus degrease on all the edges to ensure long-term hold. Doing a 360 around the entire hood is the best move as it'll ensure 100% degreasing. For certain areas, you'll have to use a squeegee and a microfiber towel to get focus degreasing. Make sure you do a 360 degree loop around here as well, and then degrease the main surface area. Just like the hood, now it's time to apply a low tack solution Again, triple S, and focus it especially on the body lines to avoid any dots and adhesive lines. Now we move on to sectioning the film up for install and note that on the side of the box is important product information, including lot number, a swatch of the color, and roll size. Document this information for safekeeping, and when unpacking the box, note that there's an aftercare hanger for the rear view mirror, and always be sure to unpack the satin metallic film carefully as you don't want to damage the satin metallic finish. Roll it face side up on a work table that's clean. Measure the piece out, cut it safely away. Then once everything's cut, roll the panel up and label it. We begin with the hood install and it's highly recommended to prop it up and place masking tape on the upper corners for a strong corner game. Mark the excess material cutting off point and then safely remove it to make the install easier. It's always a good idea to work with two installers on the hood for nice workflow. Release the liner underneath the hood and the medium initial tack will help with the install so it won't tack too hard. Pull evenly across the top and to avoid scratches, use a low tack solution, in this case, the same one that was used on the paint, Triple S, to help the squeegee slide and glide. Then to relax the material, add heat. One installer simply holds the material away, then shake the material down. This will relax the film to the outside body line with no wrinkles. This is what's called creating glass. Shaking the material really allows the film material to relax with minimal heat. And once the material is relaxed, add heat again. Now use an application glove and form the film into the deepest part of the recessed area first. This is called the palm technique that was invented by the Rep Institute. This avoids any stress and adhesive lines in this area. Work the film onto the main flat area first and stop when wrinkles build up. Now add heat and relax the film to the outside edge. 
This is what's called the Rap Institute Zero Stretch Technique. By evenly heating the film slowly from side to side, it shrinks the film and causes it to relax fully to the outside edge. This avoids pulling the film too hard and changing the satin hue. This is very important. So don't heat and pull, heat and relax. And as you can see, the film shrinks naturally to the edge. So let the film do all the heavy lifting for you. Having the right heat gun is absolutely critical. And as the film relaxes to the edge, simply squeegee it to the surface with no bubbles. Always apply the front of the hood first, then work towards the upper section. Relax the film, shake it by doing the shimmy, then pull the film evenly to that outside edge. Squeegee it onto the surface and done. Now we focus on the outside edges and it's a good idea to round the film on the bottom side of the edge first, then add heat to relax the film and shrink it to that edge. This combination of forming first, then shrinking the film to the underside is key. Double check for bubbles before cutting. And once everything is set in terms of no bubbles, now it's time to cut. Click a blade and make sure it's extra sharp and always cut the corners first. By cutting the corners first, it allows for high quality, then make a decision on how you wrap the film. In this case, because the film was relaxed to the edge and then under the edge, you can actually angle the blade away and cut it safely. No need to wrap farther underneath the hood. Always a good idea to then finish strong by adding heat to the edge to activate the adhesive and make sure there's a good long-term hold. Once everything's set, form any recessed areas, in this case on the emblem, add heat to activate the adhesive, and the final step is to give it a wipe down. Always use a preferred aftercare product, in this case, Triple S. Don't use alcohol as this can dry out or damage the satin metallic finish. Then the final step is to post heat all the edges and only post heat up to 65 Celsius. Going higher than this will gloss the satin finish. Install any hardware and done. Now move on to the fender. In this case, masking tape the A pillar section and remove any hardware that can affect the cuts. Now take the piece, place it on the fender with a magnet, mark the area where you need to cut away the film, make a safe cut, leave the liner on as this material can be used later for mirrors or bumpers, and now release the liner against the body. Pick the material up, relax it to one side, and then lock it into the body line. Once everything's set, now, Heat and relax the film and shake it towards the outside edge. Lock it onto the body line here, then heat the film in overlapping strokes and then relax it and shake it to the outside edge. This combination of the Rap Institute Zero Stretch and the Shimmy helps relax the film to avoid overstretching and maintains the beautiful satin metallic finish. Always squeegee the air out towards the edge. Once this upper section is set, now Spray Triple S on the surface and squeegee the tech wrap on to the other side. Make relief cuts when necessary to relax the film around body lines and transition points. Add heat to relax and shrink the film to the upper section, then apply to the surface. For this bottom section here, make a relief cut by the door, heat the film to relax it, then simply just gently pull to the surface and then squeegee with overlapping firm squeegee strokes. For the film just above the wheel well, instead of pulling it hard to the surface, simply add heat and you'll see that the tech wrap relaxes perfectly with glass and then simply squeegee it on. Very easy and straightforward. A good tip is to spray the surface down with an aftercare solution to remove any handprints. Then once the surface is clean, go over the entire area with heat to check for bubbles. Then do a 360 on the outside edge with heat to relax the film. Cut away the excess film to make it easier to tuck the material into this gap. Then once everything's fully tucked, now take a cutting tool or a knife and remove the excess film. In this case, using the wrap axe is the safe call because it's made out of plastic. There's no chance of damaging the rubber or cutting the paint. Once the material has been cut away, always make sure you come back and seal the edge. Once everything's set now, the wrap axe can be used in this case between the gap of the front fender and bumper. A knife is used between the door and the top and is very important on those edges once cut to come in with heat. Heat, as you can see, shrinks the film back to the edge. So in many ways, if you use heat, it relaxes it to the main surface as well as to the edge. That's the beauty of tech wrap and heat guns. So once all the edges are shrunk, seal the deal with a squeegee. As you can see, that film shrinks right to the edge. Once everything's set, come back in with a squeegee and simply form it on. 
perfect corners and long-term hold. Once everything's set on the outside edges, then it's very important to come back and post heat again, especially at that temperature, 65 degrees Celsius, no higher. And here's a shot of the final result. For more information on the Satin Metallic series from TechRep, you can go to this URL, and you can also follow TechRep on these social media outlets. This has been a product video for TechRep's Satin Metallic series, and this video has been proudly produced by the Rep Institute.